The Quran mandates fasting during the month of Ramadan from sunrise to sunset. However, people with diabetes do not have to fast during Ramadan. Speak to your Imam about this, Dr Iqbal Malik explains. In the UK, there are 2.9 million people diagnosed with diabetes. Many of these people are Muslim and will plan to fast during Ramadan. If you're thinking of fasting for Ramadan, you might need to visit your diabetes team before Ramadan for an advice on how to manage your diabetes at this time. This might mean booking an appointment at least two months before the start. Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic lunar calendar, where daily fasting, not eating or drinking from dawn till dusk, is compulsory for all healthy Muslims every year. Ramadan lasts for 29 to 30 days each year, depending on the sighting of the moon. The lunar calendar is 10 days shorter every year, so occasionally Ramadan will fall in the summer months and the hours of fasting each day will be much longer, up to 19 hours. Not everyone needs to fast, and Islam states that there are certain groups of people who are exempt from fasting. Those who do not have to fast during Ramadan include children under the age of puberty, older people, the sick, those with learning difficulties, those with mental health problems, and anyone who would be putting their health at risk by fasting, including people with uncontrolled diabetes, people who have complications of diabetes such as damage to eyes, kidneys, nerves, chronic kidney disease, or heart disease. Well, initially, because it's a, a religious thing for me, being Muslim, um, it was something that I always wanted to do, was fast. And um, I was always told, no, you can't do it, no, you can't do it. Simply the fact being diabetic, taking insulin, having to have regular meals, um, so you don't go hypo. But um, things are a lot advanced now. You've got different types of insulin. Um, and going to this kind of course thing, I, I picked up little hints and tips on how I could help fast, um, but also look after myself at the same time. Uh, one thing I learned was that you can do blood tests while you're fasting, which from me from day one was always something no, you can't actually do if you fast, otherwise your fast breaks. So it was quite a, an eye-opener eye and how they, they grade you in different risks, so which is the safest um, people, you know, obviously those that are at low risk, how simple it is for them to fast and whereas to get into the higher risk, how more difficult it can be. Those people who are unable to fast, such as pregnant nursing mothers, menstruating women, and those travelling more than 57 miles each day where fasting is difficult, can make up the fast at a later date. Those people who are unable to fast at all can provide food to others and offer donations to people less fortunate. I would recommend you speak to your local mosque leaders for advice. How to be safe during fasting. Many people will still choose to fast during Ramadan and it's very important you speak to your diabetes healthcare professionals before this time. It is especially important if you're on certain tablets or on, or on insulin. Your diabetes nurse or doctor will be able to make recommendations regarding your treatment to keep you safe. And to keep yourself safe whilst fasting, you should test your blood glucose levels and keep in touch with the team. The risks of fasting include hypoglycemia, hyperglycemia and dehydration. If changes are not made, you may be at risk of hypoglycemia or hypos where your blood glucose falls less than 4. You could also have high gl glucose levels during this time which could lead to health problems in the short and long term. Blood glucose testing will not break your fast. However, be aware that you'll have to end your fast and eat if your blood glucose levels fall below 4. Fasting patients with type 1 diabetes who are in a basal bolus regimen 4 times daily should be discouraged from fasting owing to the risk of poor glycemic control. If patients still choose to fast despite medical advice, it will help if they're familiar with carbohydrate counting. The diet during Ramadan should be a healthy balanced diet. Slow energy release foods such as wheat, semolina, beans, rice should be taken before and after fasting, whereas foods high in saturated fat such as ghee, samosas and pakoras should be minimised. Advise patients to use only a small amount of mono unsaturated oils in cooking. Before and after fasting, include high fibre foods such as whole grain cereals, granary bread, brown rice, beans, pulses, fruit, vegetables and salads. Regular, light and moderate exercise is safe in type 2 diabetes patients. 
Regular exercise is not recommended as the risk of hypoglycemia may be increased, especially in patients taking sulfonylureas or insulin. Encourage patients to continue the usual physical activity, especially during non-fasting periods. Taravi prayers should be considered as part of the daily exercise regimen as they involve standing, bowing, prostrating and sitting. Patients should be aware of the warning symptoms of dehydration, hypoglycemia and hyperglycemia and should stop the fast as soon as any complications or acute illness occur. But I have fasted um, while being diabetic in the past. How did that mean? It was, it was a bit difficult to start with since I hadn't fasted in my life at all, having getting diabetes at a young age. But as the days got on, it was easier to, to cope with. But then um, having more health problems made it more difficult. Throughout the whole year, you know, sunrise and sunset times change. Um, so that's what we follow it depending on, on those times. So in, in the winter, the, the days are shorter. So sun rises a lot later and sets again a lot earlier. So you're talking about something like maybe six o'clock, seven o'clock in the morning, say in, in December, uh, that the fast would close, uh, sunrise, and then your fast would open by, I think, five, six in the, in the evening. So it's more or less kind of like a normal day. Um, before sunrise, you would have a good healthy meal um, with plenty of carbohydrates to, to help you last throughout the day. And when you open your fast in the evening at sunset, again, you obviously, you know, you have proper healthy food and make sure you drink plenty so you stay dehydrated. You, know, you don't want to suffer from dehydration in between. But it's more difficult in the summer months because we tend to tend to dehydrate anyway because of the, the sun and plus sunlight hours are a lot longer. And in, um, in the summer, you're talking about the fast closing something like half one, two o'clock in the morning and then opening at 10, 11 in the evening. So you've got more than a 12 hour cycle there. Obviously, this can be a problem for people with diabetes. It's not always necessary, but for some, they wish to fast like everyone else. These people have to speak to a member of their diabetes team who will help them with a plan to see them through. Blood sugar monitoring is extremely important during the hours of fasting. Fast-acting drinks or foods should also be close to hand at all times.